Um, it is a time of global turbulences, so we must strengthen the unity and the security of our continent. And enlargement is the way to do it. We want Serbia to join our union. The offer is based on trust, on reciprocity, and on partnership. It is a promise of peace and prosperity, and it is a unique opportunity right now that no one else can match. I hope very much, and I'm convinced that you will seize this moment. Serbia is already one of the most advanced countries on the EU path due to the good progress made in the past. We want you to take the next steps to get closer to us, including in foreign policy, because we know we want to count on Serbia as a reliable European partner, standing up for our common principles and values. My second message is on the economy. And indeed, Mr. President, the Alexander, you described that uh, the Serbian economy is doing well. It is now 44% of EU average income per capita. That's good, but we want more, and we want to get closer. This is very important for us. Getting closer, on one hand, we have already our 30 billion investment plan for the Western Balkan. It is delivering fast. For example, with the Kostelak wind farm and the Serbia-Bulgaria gas interconnector, indeed, which I visited, uh, which I had the chance to visit. Last year, indeed, as you described, we went through a severe energy crisis. But working together, helping to cushion the impact of high energy prices to households and businesses, as you just described, made it possible that together we overcame this severe crisis. And this is the best principle at all. Um, if you are in testing times, work together. We can overcome the difficulties together. Now, this is looking back. What I want is to look forward on our growth plan, the new growth plan, to getting our economies closer to each other. This new growth plan for the Western Balkans has four steps. The first step is we open our single market to the companies and businesses of the Western Balkan countries. The second element is in return, the Western Balkan countries open their market economies to their neighbors, so really create the common regional market of the Western Balkan. The potential of this common regional market of the Western Balkan is enormous. If it would be uh, com uh, completed, we could increase the GDP of the Western Balkan economies by 10%. The third element is, if we open the single market of the European Union and we have a common regional market of the Western Balkan. We need a level playing field, and for that, reforms have to be done. And here comes the fourth element. If you do the reforms, we come with investment. For Serbia, for example, um, this would be improving the business environment, making the energy sector ready. We're working on it, on the green transition, uh, the focus on education and training people for the jobs of tomorrow, just to name a few topics where there can be reforms and investment together. Um, in addition, judicial independence reforms are essential. On media freedom, you just finalized important reforms. Um, congratulations on that one. Now we need, you need to implement it and keep on working in this sector. Um, so this is the package of reforms plus uh, the investment. Now this new growth plan um, includes 6 billion euros for investment in the Western Balkan economies. Um, we made a very good experience in the European Union if we combined investment and reforms. We did that after the pandemic with our um, investment plan, Next Generation EU, and it worked very well to have the investments accompanied by reforms. So if it works for the member states, I think it would, will also work for us together. This growth plan will boost your economy. It will most importantly create good jobs. And of course, it will also support you on your path to uh, accession. I believe this is the right offer at the right time. 
My last message is we need normalization between Serbia and Kosovo. The violent attack of the 24th of September in North Kosovo um, is completely unacceptable. The perpetrators must be held accountable and brought to justice. Um, this is absolutely crucial um, for both to engage and to go the path of normalization. In this respect, it is important that Serbia should endorse the statute of the association community. Kosovo has to implement this statute. And in addition, it is essential that Serbia begins the implementation of the existing agreements and does not lose time on this. Going forward with that, the right place to discuss all these issues is the EU-facilitated dialogue. This is the only way forward. It is a good way to access the growth plan, but more importantly, it is the best way towards a future in which Serbia is part of the European Union. Thank you.